Good morning. It is Friday, November the 8th, and this is The Drill. Thank you. I'm Ron, your host and the only true conservative in the United States today because I'm the only one who makes the presumption for the status quo. I'm one of the butchers, bakers, and candlestick makers. I'm an honorably discharged Desert Storm era Air Force veteran with an associate's degree and a registered independent. My podcast is made available through Spreaker and can be heard on iTunes, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. Today, I am going to point out the false, that false conservatives think that they can only win with the aid of the news media, explain how the left has destroyed resistance, and why the right must come to love the words, go back, all when I come back. Welcome back. The right, the false conservatives, are in love with the news media. This despite the fact that the news media has treated them with nothing but contempt. The right thinks that the only way it can prevail is with the aid of the news media, and they are waiting for the news media to take them back. The right constantly complains about how the news media is unfair to them, constantly complains about double standards. The right is wrong. What true conservatives should be doing is demanding a return to non-profit news. Only when that happens will everyone be treated fairly. In the meantime, the true conservatives should divorce themselves from the news media and take their message to the people through alternative sources, including direct communication. When I come back, I'll explain how the left has destroyed resistance to it in this country. Thank you very much. The uh, left has succeeded in destroying over the decades most of the resistance to it in the United States. Let's take two cultural examples, stupid and crazy. It used to be when I was growing up that if we, children, said or did something stupid or crazy, someone would say so, usually an adult. If we asked a stupid question, an adult would tell us so. If we said something crazy, an adult would tell us, don't talk crazy. The left has banished the words stupid and crazy, among others, through the use of subversion. Subversion basically means contradiction. Stupid is smart, crazy is sane, ugly is beautiful, immorality is moral, and fantasy is reality. Years ago, if someone like Representative Cortez had uh, proposed the so-called New Green Deal, the Green New Deal, they would have been dismissed as stupid or crazy. Now they are taken seriously by the right as well as the left. So-called conservatives analyze her insane proposals because they are afraid to call her nuts. She should be called nuts because that's what she is, crazy. She's crazy and her proposal is stupid and no analysis is necessary. In spite of left-wing pressure, the true conservative is not afraid to call someone or something stupid or crazy. When I come back, we go back. Thank you, thank you. True conservative can be summed up essentially in two words. Go back. False conservatives, radio hosts, as well as politicians, are afraid to use these words. True conservatives know that stupid and crazy ideas should be identified as such, and when these ideas fail, true conservatives are brave enough to demand that we go back to what we were doing before. Instead of using stupid and crazy as a foundation for more stupid and crazy. Examples, go back to nonprofit news, the gold standard, judgment and criticism, defining politicians and political parties by their platforms, and go back to reality, certainty, morality, polity, and beauty. Back in a minute.
Thank you. In conclusion, I've explained why conservatives shouldn't wait for the news agencies to moderate, talked about fighting subversion, and insisted that we go back. Who is the true conservative? He's the person that understands that conservatism is not just about politics, but culture as well. He's not selfish, but minds his own business. He acts like an adult. He is patriotic and uses common sense. He expresses what he knows and does so with absolute certainty. He makes judgments, refuses to speculate, and speaks clearly and definitively, and is not afraid to say no. He is open-minded, asking why rather than why not. He is consistent, credible, and influential, not ashamed of his existence, unafraid to learn or correct his mistakes. He is a normal American, and he is better than the socialist. He is a better friend, father, brother, family member, and a better person, period. You have to know that. If you don't know with every fiber of your being that being a true conservative is best, then you are wasting your time. And that brings me to the conclusion of another episode of The Drill. Remember that the left has no authority, no power, and they can't win. True conservatives know that nothing is inevitable. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.